Hello dear students now let us have a look at one of the interesting stories of our supplementary reader of class 6 a pact with the sun and the name of the story is also the same a pact with the sun there must be a question in your mind looking at the title what is a pact so dear children a pact means an agreement or a contract normally a contract or agreement is a written document but here in this context it is a verbal or oral contract oral pact between a small girl called saida and she makes this contract with sun rays isn't it very interesting dear children as i said a pact with the sun is a wonderful story of a small girl saida Actually Saida's mother was sick with number of problems she had variety of problems and she tried variety of medicines and she also tried many doctors but unfortunately it did not work and then the neighbors of Saida and the relatives of Saida suggested that they should contact a specialist so when she consulted the specialist for her health problems the specialist doctor advised the saida's mother to have the normal and healthy food but most importantly the specialist doctor advised the saida's mother to sit in the fresh sunlight for 1 hour every morning 8 to 9 am and the specialist said the fresh air and sunlight was more important than the medicine isn't it very interesting dear children but oh my god so saida decided that from tomorrow my mother will sit in the courtyard to enjoy the fresh sunlight but next morning unfortunately the sky was cloudy and the saida became very sad because there was no sunlight and then saida directly communicates she directly talks with the sun rays of course this is the imagination of the story writer but here she makes contact with her sign language with the sun rays and she appeals them she requests them to come next morning with lots of warmth and brightness the sun rays kept their word the sun rays also promised the little girl saida that they would definitely come next morning and finally saida's mother recovered from her health problems so dear children each and every lesson and poem does teach us so many things so what is the moral of this story we must realize the value of nature and its great resources Dear children remember nature has a great healing power fresh air oxygen and sunlight are most precious can we imagine the world without the oxygen without fresh sunlight so dear children this is the time of pandemic so you should always remember health is wealth what is the most important thing in the world not the property not the money but your health is very important and hence the proverb goes health is well the story tells us what is the importance of good health so dear children let us develop the healthy habits do exercise regularly play outdoor games every day try to spend less time on playing online games and mobile phone eat healthy food and stay fit like a fiddle take care dear students bye bye